Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, you guys, y'all know what that meme means. We haven't seen that meme in a while, but this story is about the Pissy Pie Piper and all the girls coming out the damn woodwork once again, okay? So if you guys don't know, Joyce and Savage basically took to her social media page to let the world know that she has something to say. She has some things to get off her chest concerning R. Kelly and everything she's been through. So folks were excited. They're like, oh, girl, I'm about to get this damn tea. Only to find out, ah, slow your road, bitch. You got to pay for that tea, okay? So Joyce and Savage basically let the world know that she's going to spill all the tea via Patreon. Now, me personally, I'm not paying nobody for no damn tea. I'll wait until somebody else posts the tea for free on damn social media. I'm not giving this attention seeker a damn dime, okay? So anyways, many of you all did pay for her Patreon. I had a few of my tea sippers comment that they paid money. So I'm not judging y'all. It is what it damn is. I wasn't going to pay for it though. So on her Patreon, basically she spilled the tea about R. Kelly. This is just some of the things that she said on Patreon. Check this out. So Jocelyn wrote that by late 2016, she became aware that she was knocked up and she was pregnant by this monster. She says, eventually I ended up getting an abortion. I was forced to get surgery done at his house. On another alleged occasion, Jocelyn reportedly writes on Patreon that she called R. Kelly babe instead of daddy or master. And as a result, she was allegedly attacked by him. He grabbed me and choked me until I blacked out. She also reportedly describes being constantly monitored by R. Kelly's handlers, including media interviews, as well as around the house, including while she showered. Joycelyn reportedly says that she was once starred for days to rehearse for an on-camera statement. Joycelyn also goes on to describe other women R. Kelly would allegedly bring home that state they are just like me. They were definitely younger than me. So that's just some of the things that she was writing on her Patreon page, okay? So a lot of people were wondering, you know, is this real? Is this really Jocelyn? What are her parents saying? Because we know the savages, honey, they love to be on in front of the damn cameras. I want to know where my daughter is. Where is she at? Answer that question. And the mama was saying that she thought that this was her daughter, but I take anything the mother or the father says with a grain of salt. I've never been a big fan of theirs. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no bandwagon jumping over here. I've always seen through their bullshit from day one. But I do like their other daughter, Jalen. She's always seemed, you know what I'm saying, very honest about stuff. Sex without protection, infections you gon' get. Fucking with this nigga, I promise, I swear this bitch is dishonest and so disgusting and odd. Your label need to start, we discussing your job. Still fucking teenagers putting up a facade. Then turn around and make some songs up about God. You go, Jalen. I still fucking listen to that rap to this damn day. So she's always been really honest about stuff. And Jalen came on. She basically said that she does not feel like that's her sister. They have not been in contact with her. So I don't know what the hell the mother is talking about. But what the sister is saying is something totally different. So I want you guys to go ahead and watch this video of Jalen talking about the whole Joycelyn Patreon situation. Y'all go ahead and check this out. And I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. No idea what's going on. Um... So I just wanted to make sure I just put that out there for everybody. I've been getting a lot of concerns and a lot of messages regarding to my sister's situation. So I'm not sure, but I was usually when someone comes out and speaks something like that or say their life is in danger, they will, you know, contact their family. So I'm praying to God that this is not what I think it is on somebody just trying to get a check off of my sister's situation. I really pray to God that's not the case. But I just wanted to make sure everybody knows what's going on on my on my me and my family's aspect of the whole situation. We are just as clueless as everybody else in this situation. Cause I'm looking, I'm reading the the um, stories on it, 
and some of it sounds like it could be her but then she's make, making all these slick remarks and uh how can i say it uh making slick remarks to different types of celebrities and stuff and it just does not sound like my sister it sounds like someone is joking to me it does not sound genuinely like my sister's situation so i just wanted to make sure i clarify that to everybody what is going on but um and then i'm just as lost as everybody else Like, show the whole view of, like, the... What no I? But, um, and that's... It's crazy how social media is. Because they will pick up and fall for anything. So, I wanted to make sure to let you guys know, and anybody else that's concerned about the situation, I personally, in my opinion, do not think that that's my sister. Even though it says Joyce and Savage, and even though she follows me on that account and I follow her, I am just as clueless as everybody else in this situation. I want to know as bad as everybody else want to know if that's the real Joyce and Savage. So it's just, it's just all the little slick remarks and stuff. It does not sound like my sister. It's really like... Like, if someone been through such a traumatized situation like that, you would think they wouldn't be trying to make jokes and stuff out of the situation. What happened? But, um, that's all I have to say, though. But, um, yeah. All right, so you guys just saw what Jalen had to say. So she's very adamant that she feels like that is not her sister and there's something in the mix, okay? So now on top of that, R. Kelly's lawyer is also speaking out and he's really upset about the situation as well. So this is what R. Kelly's lawyer is saying. Go ahead and check this out. So R. Kelly's lawyer, uh, Steve Greenberg, is saying this. It is unfortunate that Jocelyn now seeks to make money by exploiting her longtime loving relationship with Robert. Obviously, if she were to tell the truth, no one would pay. So she has unfortunately chosen to regurgitate the stories and lies told by others for her own personal profit. We know the real facts and it was not until the money ran out that she decided anything was wrong. <laughs> Hopefully people will see it for <laughs> Hopefully people will see it for the obvious profiteering that it is. <laughs> All right, so you guys just heard what the lawyer had to say, honey. He's since deleted that tweet because, again, people are weak on social media. They will post shit and then delete it instead of standing by what the fuck they posted. 
I've said from day one, as soon as I seen that there was a damn Patreon and there was some money to get, I said, this bitch is full of shit. I'm not paying for a damn thing, okay? I said it on Instagram. I knew she was full of shit. Now that the money has run out, all of a sudden you want to spill all this tea and tell all the business. And I've been calling that out from day one. Again, I've been keeping up with this, with this R. Kelly bullshit before it even became popular. Just like when his staff jumped ship and then everybody wanted to start telling stories and start speaking out. But when they was getting checks and when they was benefiting getting residual residual ass okay from the girls that r kelly was done with it wasn't no problem so I, all this is some bullshit to me but with all of this mess like i said the dead has arisen a few of the girls from the surviving r kelly documentary and you know other r kelly's ex-girlfriends they're not speaking out as well so one of the women that's speaking out is Haley calhoun if you guys remember she's the one who met r kelly when she was 19 years old and you know that was his main girlfriend he was dating at the time and there's pictures with Haley and Jocelyn and R. Kelly together, and Haley does not feel like that is really Jocelyn. So I'm gonna go ahead and read to you guys what Haley had to say on social media. So Haley Calhoun says, the things people do for money is just sad. I don't have sympathy. You had a choice. Shake my head. I just want the world to be smart at this point. Come on. And then she posted a picture with Jocelyn, R. Kelly, and her. So that is what Haley Calhoun has to say. So Haley Calhoun has never felt like a victim of R. Kelly. She says she made the choice to be his girlfriend because, again, there were benefits to being, you know, with R. Kelly. He has money. You know what I'm saying? He has a big-ass house. It's like a slumber party 24-7, you know, so she doesn't consider herself any type of victim. And so she doesn't consider herself a victim. You know, I don't consider her no damn victim, okay? Let's keep that real. So I do feel like there's a bunch of shit in the mix. But now one of the other girls from the Surviving R. Kelly documentary, she's speaking to TMZ. And basically she's saying that she doesn't know if this is really Jocelyn or not either. So y'all go ahead and check this out. Uh, at first I was really excited for her and happy. But um, as I've... Uh gone on to read the different chapters i'm not really all that convinced that it's her really how come yeah uh things that i've read like um one thing she said something about condoms and rob doesn't use condoms uh, another statement she made about letting her speak um i don't understand who would be letting her speak as well as um she said something about her family uh, not being able to be in contact with her family, and she's still not in contact with her family, so that makes no sense. Hmm. So what about the allegations? Any of that ring true, or is this all kind of BS to you? Um, I, I, you know, it sounds like some things that could have gone on. I've heard him have people call him daddy, never heard of him master. Uh, daddy, definitely. Um, I had an abortion. It wasn't forced, but definitely had an abortion. All right, so you guys just saw what Lisa Van Allen had to say. So she was very honest about, you know, her feelings about everything. She says certain parts could be true, but a lot of it just seems like, you know, basically whoever's running this account is piecing together, you know, bits of information um, from the R. Kelly documentary. So I think that's what she's kind of feeling, like they're taking bits and pieces from her story and other people's stories, and they're trying to, you know, basically say that they're the ones who went through it. So now, if that's not crazy enough, Patreon has now gotten involved, and this is what Patreon is saying. They're basically telling TMZ that this person has to prove who they are. They only have a few days to prove who they are. They have to send over legal documentation because at this point, they may be defrauding the community, the, you know, the people who are sending her money. So this is what they said to TMZ. Go ahead and check this out. The company hosting the account told TMZ, Patreon tried Monday to verify the account. The owner of the account will have a couple days to provide proof that they are the real Jocelyn or they will be shut down. The user will have to provide a government-issued form of identification to satisfy Patreon. The account has made significant money. More than 1,800 users have paid membership fees, which range from $3 to $25. If the account does turn out to be fake, the money will be returned. All right, you guys just heard me read what Patreon had to say about the situation. So like I said, everything is just looking shadier and shadier. The fact that she has still not been in contact with her family or her sister, you know, makes me feel like this account might be fake. Because again, if you're looking for your freedom and you're looking to break the chains of R. Kelly, why not go back to your family? Now, another R. Kelly girlfriend, honey, has not made her debut on social media, okay? Asriel Clary, the one that, you know, that was the, the staunch defender of R. Kelly, along with Joycelyn Savage, has now taken to social media to let everybody know that she has a YouTube page, an Instagram page, and all that good shit. Y'all go ahead and check this out. So she posted her first post. She has pictures of herself, and it says, say less. 
And then she says, oh, y'all thought I was joking. I'm the one with Asriel, where my writer's at. So it looks like she might be filming some type of reality show. And then she goes on to tell people to follow her on these different social media sites. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Esriel, and I just want to let everyone know that, yes, I did create social media. My Instagram is at Esriel Most Wanted, and my Twitter is at the only Esriel. I do have a YouTube channel, Esriel Clary Scoop of Esriel, and I am going to be putting up videos very, very soon. So definitely comment, stay tuned, let me know what type of content you guys want to see. Um, I'm also going to be doing my very first live very, very soon. So follow your girl and stay tuned for that. Um, but it's all about love and positivity. So, you know, when you see me, I just want to... Right, so you guys just saw those clips. So again, you know, this entire situation is just getting messier and messier. But, you know, I don't really think a lot of these girls are victims in the traditional sense of the word. And I've always said that. These girls are basically put on a platter and handed over to R. Kelly via their parents. And, I mean, at this point, they've been through so much and been brainwashed. It's just a bunch of mess going on. I think everything that's going on with this entire situation is crazy because, again, it cheapens it for the real victims of R. Kelly. As far as everything going on, I can see Joycelyn. I can see Asriel Clary coming out with books and everything else, trying to basically eat off of the scandal. Now that the money has gone, now that the lifestyle they have become accustomed to has slowed down and basically all but disappeared now everybody's talking now everybody wants to come out on youtube now everybody wants to come out with a book and come out with a patreon and tell their business you know that this has just turned into an entire circus at this point All right, you guys, we have some breaking news. It just broke about 30 minutes ago. So if you guys do not know, Patreon has now released a statement. And basically, they are confirming, okay, that they deleted the Jocelyn Savage Patreon account. So this is what they're saying. The page alleging to be Jocelyn has been removed, according to a spokesman for Patreon, after multiple unsuccessful attempts to verify the identity of the account holder, we closed the Patreon page allegedly associated with Jocelyn Savage due to potential impersonation. All Patreons who signed up for membership pages were refunded and the creator did not receive any funds. So that is what's being reported as of today. Now, if that's not crazy enough, on Instagram, she also posted to her stories and she says, me and Azriel will be going live together soon to explain everything that's going on. I will be doing promotions. Inbox me for prices. So whoever this is, they're still trying to get paid. They're still trying to make money no matter what. So this entire situation is just getting crazier and crazier literally by the day. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning all of these women, you know what I mean, tied to R. Kelly coming out the woodwork, do you feel like that's really Joycelyn Savage's account? Or do you feel like somebody hacked and they're just trying to make a quick money grab? Or do you feel like that really is Joycelyn? And then how do you feel about Azriel Cleary coming out now and trying to get everybody to follow her on social media? And then how do you feel about Lisa Van Allen coming out and speaking on this situation? And Jalen Savage saying that that's not her sister this entire situation is a hot damn mess it's hard to keep up with but i hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown don't forget to hit the subscribe button make sure you guys thumbs up the video most importantly don't forget to hit that bell so that way you can be down with the notification squad so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping on the pissy pie piper go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts all right deuces <laughs>